Hey, morning guys. Uh, we are going to take the new spreader truck this morning and get it calibrated. Uh, this is the end of December, or I guess middle of December. I uh, took a little break. Uh, we got through harvest, took a little time off, and now we really have some nice weather. So we are going to get this truck calibrated on fertilizer and line and probably spread some either the end of this week or first of next week. This display is quite a bit different from the old display. The old one used the John Deere rate controller. This one is using a, uh, well, New Leader makes the box. And so they put their own rate controller on it. So the view is a little bit different. Overall, it functions very similar to the other one, um, but we basically are going to take it to a uh, neighboring farm. They have fertilizer in a building, they have lime piled up, and they also have a scale for us to weigh the truck and weigh the product and so on and so forth. So we'll, uh, I'll show you kind of how that works. It's pretty, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but overall it's pretty simple. We got our empty weight. Uh, 31,800 pounds this thing weighs completely empty. Um, so we're gonna go down, get a little potash, and start with the potash calibration. Well, we got green, uh, green Marks leaving. Uh, they came up and helped me get calibrated. Um, just because this was new to me, I didn't video the whole process, but uh, basically you go to conveyor calibration here you hit your static routine, it tells you to uh, turn your spinners off. The We just calibrated for lime, so you put in your gate opening, your density of the product, and how much you want to dispense out, and then you go through this, um, and it tells you what it thinks. Go to the next page, you tell it what it actually did, and then it gives you a CFR number, cubic feet per revolution. So for lime, we came up with, we were at a 0.2242, uh, and basically what that means is it's 0.2242 yards, no, cubic feet, cubic feet per revolution of the belt at one inch. So kind of confusing, uh, but it does its whole calibration based off of that. So then essentially what happens is you put product in your box here, and then you end up with a bunch of little piles like that. And then, so you get a good full truckload, go up, weigh it, then dispense out what you tell it to, go weigh that. And each time you do it, you get a little closer. Lime, we didn't worry about too much. Uh, we, lime's lime, um, you're gonna have some error. Uh, fertilizer we did three times took an average of the CFR the generated CFR numbers put that in and we're within like a half a percent so uh, that's kind of how the calibration works we're fortunate enough to have a uh, neighbor fellow farmer that has lime on his farm has a fertilizer building with potash in it and he had a scale uh, so we he let us come calibrate uh, very thankful for that because it saves a lot of time. So we are going to just move the truck out of the way here and jump in that loader and clean up our little lime piles and we are ready to go. I thought it would be a little more difficult uh, with a new, whole new user interface, rate controller, whatever you want to call it. But the new leader rate controller is pretty nice on the deer truck. Uh, hop in the big payloader here and clean up our little lime piles.
going to do it for calibrations. Uh, we are hauling in a couple hundred tons of lime that we're hoping to get spread either the end of this week or first of next week. And then uh, we're going to do 75 ton of potash too. Uh, with the weather being as nice as it is, might as well get a jump on uh, spring 2024 work. Um, so that's going to do it for this video, a uh, touch shorter. Um, I will be back when we get to running this truck, uh, spreading lime and fertilizer. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.